that live in the distillery district. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about the temporary buildings, what they will be like when you'll start constructing them, how they will relate to our buildings, the, the buildings on the north side of North Street in particular? So when you say temporary buildings, do you mean the temporary structures that will go up for the Pan Am Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure anybody here knows exactly what they look like, but they're going to be tents, Julie, I think. They won't actually be buildings. Um, my recollection, having the privilege to um, visit the village in Vancouver, um, the dining tent, I mean, I use the term tent loosely, it is a tent, but it's, uh, it's quite structured, it's quite large. Um, they are very um, well put together, they don't go away. Um, but that's what most of these facilities will be. I don't think there will be any buildings per se, it'll just be tented structures. So. The, the, uh, behind the two, the 17 years in Mill Street buildings, uh, that space that were the old studios, um, do you know what's going there? So that, those two blocks, and just to put them out again, they wrong. Those two blocks are designated for the welcome center for the athletes, where they will arrive and leave the village officially. Um, as well as the international zone, where um, athletes are allowed to have their families come and visit because on the other side of Cherry Street, that is the residential zone, highly restricted um, you know, to uh, for the parents to be in the village. But the international zone will have, um, I think, in that tented area, we'll have some shops, flower shops, things like that for families to purchase flowers uh, for their, their athlete or I think probably souvenir shops and t-shirts and that sort of thing. So that's what those two uses are intended to be on those, uh, on those blocks. And oh, and the media, yes, that's right. The international zone, there'll also be a component of media. It will not be the media center for all of the games, but just sort of the media center for the village itself. Um, hello. After Vancouver had their Olympics, they encountered certain problems with their village and what they were going to do with it and what happened. I have not seen in one location or one explanation a list of why Toronto in 2016 will not be Vancouver. So I'd like to hear a list of good news. Mm -hmm. um, well, I can always speak to the village component, not the venues. Um, I just do some work on the venues. I don't think we have folks here who've been working on that. So between Jess and I, we can probably try and answer that question. Um, the beauty of the village really is that it starts with the West Onlands precinct plan and block plan. Waterfront Toronto has spent quite a number of years consulting with the community, the city, working hard with the city on um, plans and subdivision plans and zoning, etc. Um, and then we had the wonderful fortune of getting the games for Toronto. And the village actually just fit beautifully within the West Almond's recent plan. Um, so this was a development that was going to happen anyway. Um, we had Mother City as our first phase developer. We'd already gone out to market and, and gotten that private sector interest and investment. Um, the village, when it was tested prior to the Toronto bid, um, fit very well with the needs of PASO, the organizing committee, um, for our village. And we were able to advance uh, what was going to become Toronto's newest community through the advantage of having the Pan Am Athletes Village. The other thing that I think differentiates this village from Vancouver is that um, there are fewer number of units. Um, the, way, the way they're being configured by DMV is that um, they're able to um, install some features later, like kitchens, etc., and have more athletes per unit. So there are fewer market units that have to be sold in advance. I think part of the problem in Vancouver is they need to sell a lot of market units the market um, declined in 2008, uh, right in the middle of their sales cycle, and that was one of their biggest problems. Um, we also have a mix of uh, affordable rental units. Um, we have user groups already selected, although we can't announce those yet. Um, we also have a student housing and a YMCA. So all of those have end users that are already committed to their buildings, so they will not be empty. Um, so I think that for the most part, Dundee Kilmer feels extremely confident in their ability to sell um, the 787, I think, market units between now and the time of the games. And uh, so we feel very confident to ourselves in the province that we aren't going to have that problem. So. Um, for the market housing, we decided to use brackets, which um, some of them appear to set up the year before the actual games. So what will happen to that housing for the other year? 
will it be, um, if you purchase now, will it be something that could take possession until 2015 or 2016? Jason, can you have the other microphone? No, they, any buildings that are finished prior to uh, the, the, the games will be, uh, will, will only be used for the games first. Um, so the first one will be used for the end users will be after the games in March of 2016. Uh, 
the province and the city of Toronto as CHC average rent for the city of Toronto. So, um, but the buildings that we're building for uh, TCHC and for the village um, have a, the funding comes from slightly uh, lower rental rates, so eight percent approximately. That would be the average in the buildings. So the average rent across the city of Toronto, and that's the definition. That when we did have the first sort of consultation about our new house park, some of us raised the question around benches, and I noticed in the, in the drawings um, that they're all flat benches. One of the things, we have a senior's residence, we'll be going in just very close to it, and many of us who live around that area are older people. We need a back to seats if we're going to be able to sit there for any length of time. installed yet, actually. Uh, I've had some conversations in the past about uh, the, the backs and benches. Uh, we had production ones that we will be installed, we just have not cited them yet, so uh, we just want to put a few around the playground area and a couple on block 18. But we, we plan on addressing that issue. Separated railway, um, or just regular streetcars like you might see on King Street? Um, so the, the streetcar that will run down Cherry Street will um, be a continuation really of the King Street streetcar. It will be the dedicated right, right away on the east side of the street, so not in mixed traffic. Um, and it will be installed as the construction of Cherry Street progresses. However, um, there is a loop area at the bottom where it loops um, back to go north to King Street, and that area is actually being used as the transit mall for the Canon Athens Village. So we won't be installing that piece and all of the sort of brickwork that we're doing in the loop area. Um, we won't be installing that until after the games. So there won't actually be any streetcars running on Cherry Street until shortly after the games. Is the uh, question about Don River Park, is the plan still to open the park uh, spring of 2013? And if possible, before that, is there any discussion to maybe have some citizen walkthroughs through the park? Because it is uh, quite a thing that's been built and it might uh, stimulate some greater interest. Um, yeah, the schedule is still 2013 for opening the, the park. Uh, we've built half the park, almost half the park. The map, you know, that's I won't complete until 2013. Um, it is possible to arrange tours uh, on site, so that's something we can, we can schedule. Uh, Meg, that um, the affordable housing operators um, haven't been announced yet. Do you have any idea of when that might happen or what is kind of holding up that uh, 
part of the process? And Jesse's indicated hopefully open this up. They're just in the final negotiations over there, deals and spaces and stuff. So. Uh, any idea, or can you say anything about how many operators there are going to be for that space? Is that I have no idea. All will become clear very soon. <laughs> Thank you all for coming.